Hey guys, it's Elaine, and this is a quick overview of what is our current work in progress here at LensCap, which is a graphic novel called And the Coming of Nighttime. We're working on book one, which is called Nothing Like the Sun. This is an adaptation of the script that I wrote originally in film school when I was at the AFI called Iscariot. I have since rewritten, 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 and rewritten that sucker, and it is now called And the Coming of Nighttime, the title for which was inspired by a song by Robert Plant. Um, the song Robert Plant sang was Big Log, and And the Coming of Nighttime is one of the verses. If you want to see why, that song inspired me well google it listen to it you know nothing like the sun comes from the uh, sting song my mistress eyes is nothing like the sun to, you know everything i've done to howl at the moon the whole night through <laughs> hey that ain't about werewolves i don't know what is um but anyway, as you can see here, um, I've laid out the overview. I started this book. I The script um, was my graduation script at the AFI, so we're talking 1992. And then I, went, uh, I got optioned coming out of film school. The producer took us to Universal. They optioned it as well. Um, and then I spent 18 months in what they call development hell, which is not a nice place to be, but I can't go into it because I only have less than 10 minutes to finish all of this. So what you're looking at is a layout of the script in Clip Studio Paint EX. I used the EX and not the Pro version because the EX version will actually let you work on not only individual page by page, but then lay the whole thing out as a book. And so this is a way for me to help keep track of what is done and what is yet to doing. And what you're seeing here are some of the original pages that I did that um, were good enough to keep in the book. There are a lot of pages that are going to be redone. Um, most of the night scenes that you see that are done, um, no, actually some of those are going to have to be redone too. There's a few cityscapes that I'm not changing, but a lot of this was done with two fingers and a trackpad. And so the art, and then I tried to grayscale it. It was horrible. Um, which is why when I tried to do the uh, webcomic version of this, it did not go down very well. The story was solid enough, but the art was really lacking. So, um, you know, I put it down, waited until I could get my skills up, study up some more about what it means to make comic books, because my art training is more classic art training um, as opposed to what it takes to do comic book illustration. And it's not that there are comic book illustrators that don't do wonderfully, uh, wonderful what you call fine art, but I was trained as a fine artist, not an illustrator. So I really had to learn how to switch those skills over because there is a difference. I used to think, oh, well, I know how to draw um, storyboards. This can't be that much different. Hello. Yes, it is. Anyway, <laughs> the script centers around, well, the story centers around Dr. Joe Z. Anthony, whose husband, Stephen Durant, um, turns himself into a werewolf <laughs> during a lab experiment as those, you know, sci-fi thriller horror films that <laughs> tends to happen. And basically what happens to her, their lives and the life of their daughter afterward. Um, she ends up, she's a homegirl with a PhD, and yeah, she ends up throwing down with a bunch of werewolves on the ass end of civilized space. And this book is basically her journey and that of her daughters. And of course, some of the werewolves that they meet along the way. But um, what we're looking at here is the overview in Clip Studio Paint, as well as um, resource files. I collected quite a few resource files for this because it's not just a matter of oh I'm gonna you know draw a bunch of pictures it's your world just as with the enslaved I'm world building and this time it's not just making it up in my head I'm putting it on paper and then scanning it in and making artwork out of it so I need to have an idea of what to you know what a car, what might cars look like? 
What will weapons look like? What will landscapes? Get an idea of what landscapes will look like. Hell, how do you dry a werewolf? <laughs> These are all things I had to find out, you know. And the answers to this story and more can be in. Sorry, I had a Muppet. I, I had a Muppet show flashback there for a second with pigs in space. If you've ever seen the, the original Muppet show, you'll get what that is. If you haven't, you know, Google it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an old chick. I'm in my 50s. I say something, you don't get it. Google it. Go to the Google machine, as the guy on Morning Joe says, and look that shit up. Anyway, um, so uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few resources, um, including... There were actors who, when I was writing the script, I based the physicality of the characters on. Gina Torres, I thought, made a, would make a wonderful Josette. I still think, I still believe that. I saw her in Firefly and thought, ooh, if anybody would be Josette in this day and age, if it wasn't Angela Bassett, it would be her, <laughs> you know. Her and, or the chick from Z Nation. Are you hearing me, Leticia? You hearing me, girl? Because, you know, you, you, you produce, you know, folks. You probably don't know who I am, so I'm not going to bug you. But, you know, these are all the things I think about in my creative process. These are all the things I gather around to look at and say, okay, this works for me, this doesn't. And I think this will help me get an idea, including thing, you know, things about this is the way you draw heads, this is the way you draw arms, and having to rethink how to do those things in a comic book format. And so I keep all of that stuff because, hey, I know there are people who can draw that stuff off the top of their head like that, but, you know, I need to have references. And I'm not copying anything. I'm just, you know, using the references to help make the book better. Um, but, you know, that's it. This is the quick overview. Next week, I will have a video and I'll show you, re I'll show myself redoing um, some artwork for the front matter of the book. And the ma front matter is just all the stuff that goes at the front of the book that is not the story itself. So you have the book front matter and then you have the appendices and the back matter, okay? Anyway, you just learned a little bit of, of you know, publishing stuff information. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. You have a good day. I'll leave some music at the end. And, you know, hey, like, subscribe, comment. And, you know, see you later. Bye.